Cancer, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to New Kid on the Block Tarot. Today, we're just going to do your next 48, and we can go ahead and get started. No long intro, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it. coming towards cancer and what energy are they coming in cancer you got somebody to side on you <laughs> okay whoever this person is they side out of you side eyeing you because they feel like they can't trust you whoever this person is they refuse to make a decision when it comes to you and they also feel like you don't support them so this person has a grudge against you they losing their patience but you and this person do have a lot of memories with each other but they holding a grudge now about this person this is your ex that's watching you okay they don't need to trust you if they your ex forget them I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing cancer but um somebody is watching you they stalking you they watching your social media for some of y'all this person is um they want to help you in some type of way try to be the nice guy People always want to be nice when the relationship's over. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But, um... If y'all posted something on social media around the holiday, on um Christmas and Thanksgiving and shit, they scrolling through all your pictures. Yep, they looking at your pictures and shit. like it's not over who is this person <laughs> they feel like y'all not over the relationship is not done they like as long as you ain't fighting with me that mean we cool we good as long as you ain't arguing with me we good mm. For a lot of y'all, this person keep trying to meet up with you or they keep trying to get you to link with them, but you not doing it. Some of y'all like, I'm not finna step out with your ass so you can show me a bad time. You not fun to be around. And some of y'all, you feel like this person is a follower anyway. You like, I can't be around you. You trying to trick me. You trying to trick me? <laughs> some of y'all like, you probably trying to steal from me. I don't know what the fuck you on. So you feel like this person trying to set you up or something or they trying to take something from you or you just don't trust this person at all. They saying they don't trust you. You don't trust them. This person keep telling you that y'all was meant to be together. Like you shouldn't have never let me go. We was meant to be together and then you just going to leave me like you did. You think it's funny though. You laughing at this. You like, okay, whatever. Some of y'all not even mad. You like, I'm not mad at that. I don't care nothing about that. I honestly think it's funny that you calling me talking about this. So some of y'all this person could be calling you. What was the past issue between cancer and this person? Things took off real quick between you and this person. And just as fast as they took off, it ended. 
So you feel like it was a brief relationship and it was time to let it go anyway. You feel like it was a good thing that you ended this chapter with this person. Some of y'all was happy to be broken up with them because you feel like it happened so fast anyway. From time to time, you still think about this person. For some of y'all, you may have even had a kid with this person. Ooh. But you've told this person how you feel already when it comes to the situation that you and them had. You feel like this person kept doing shit and they kept admitting to you the things that they was doing. Some of y'all, you felt tied or stuck or trapped, bound to this person in some type of way. But you felt like they never gave you the relationship that you needed or wanted from them. For some of y'all, this person could have been playing games too, like telling people that y'all wasn't together. So you stopped crying about the situation. A lot of y'all, you felt like you had to heal from this, but you eventually got over it. Yeah, you finally got a chance to talk to this person and tell them how you felt. You're like, look, let me go ahead and tell you something real quick. Some of y'all actually went and talked to this person and told them that you was releasing them. Yeah. And for some of y'all, this person, whatever this person did to you, they paying for it. They paid for that shit in the past. They didn't want to commit to, for some of y'all, this person didn't want to commit to you, but they had your child or they gave you kids and shit, but they was doing the wrong things. Like they wouldn't, they wouldn't do right. Some of y'all, this could be a Cancer, a Libra, another Cancer, a Libra, a, a Gemini. What's going on now? What's the issue now? What's going on now? Now you feel like it's all bad. Some of y'all are telling this person now, like, look, yeah, you was cool and all, but now I'm dealing with somebody else. I can't deal with you. Some of y'all, you feel like this person was um, materialistic. All they cared about was their money, their clothes, their cars, their house. You feel like they didn't really have any um, like morals and shit. You felt like they was immature and they was always trying to figure out a way to manipulate your emotions. Whoever this is, they could have been younger than you. You feel like this person is weak now that you got somebody else. It's a little too late. Some of y'all are in a whole nother relationship and this same person is trying to cause delays in your relationship now. Could be a Leo, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Scorpio. Could also be a Pisces. You like the one that got away um, cancer to this person. A lot of y'all are married now, or for some of y'all, this part, they you married now, and they could be trying to cause delays in your marriage or cause problems in your marriage. For some of y'all, this person was married while you was dealing with them, and now they all stuck in their head or feeling some type of way because you not you don't give a fuck about them no more. Some of y'all done got back with your um your old thing, or if you and your boo were separated, y'all back on good terms. And this person is alone, and they feel salty about that. This person could have knew your family and everything. Like some of y'all, this person got close to you. Hmm. But it's a wrap. You don't want them no more. All right.
Give me something else on who's coming towards. It could also be an Aries. Give me something else on who's coming towards Cancer. Anybody else? Some of y'all are single or you separated from the person that you was with, but you and this person could still be dating, talking, or trying to get the relationship back together. But some of y'all are um, going out, spending time with y'all friends. But you and your person are cool with that though. Y'all on the same page. Y'all both miss each other. Y'all both know what it is. And y'all both want to um, link up with each other at the end of the night to talk. Whether y'all on good terms or not. Yeah, you just doing it because you're stubborn right now. You don't want to tell this person how you really feel, like you really want to talk to them or be with them. Or <laughs> y'all are stubborn. Okay. Okay. What's the advice for cancer? Cancer, don't let nobody manipulate you with their lies. If somebody coming back into your life and you don't trust them, cut their ass off. This person could try to be as gentle as they want to be. But you already know that you don't need to keep this person company. Some of y'all are cool with being alone anyway. You're like, I don't got no feelings for you. I want to be by myself. But it's okay to love, though, as well. Like, it's okay to open your heart up because some of y'all really do love somebody. But you just don't know where it's going with this person that you love. So some of y'all are deciding to be like a free agent. It's okay to live your life. It's okay to live your life and be in love with somebody at the same time. Until a situation is positive or where it needs to be for you. Like if you feel like a situation is going A-OK, -okay, then by all means, throw all your love into it. But if you feel like it's some type of hesitation with any relationship, whether it's this ex or this most recent ex, or the most recent person you was with. Even if it's this person, like, always go with your feelings, like your good feelings. If you feel like something ain't right with that person, but you still love this person, okay, it's okay to love people from a distance. Do what benefits you and is good for your health and your soul. That's what I got for y'all, Cancer. Thanks for watching, y'all. I know it was brief, but y'all message was pretty... Um, clear, cut and dry. We ain't even have to, you know, go deep on yours. Some people I be having to go deep with. <laughs> but um, thanks so much, y'all, for watching. I do appreciate it. Please remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new. Tell a friend of a friend, the new kid on the block tarot. Did your readings today? Bye, y'all.